Well, one, he's probably one of the most interesting guys, not just on the team, but in the, on the planet. He's, he's awesome to be around. Um, he's one of those guys that's just consistently worked. He's kept his head down. He's never complained. You know, doesn't have a whole lot of opportunities in the passing game, but when his number's called, he usually ends up making the play. Um, he's a guy that, again, guys love being around him. He's all about the team, and he wants to do whatever he can do to help, help this team win. I, I can't tell you his secrets. Uh, uh I can't. Um, he, his, he's just, he's an extremely old soul, and uh, he's just again, his music choice is awesome. Uh, he, he's just, he's one, one of the best dudes on the team. Yeah, and uh, I, I would definitely say, trying to fill what Dawson, um, you know, brings to this table is going to be tough, but we got guys that are accountable, uh, guys that want to step in and work and, and do their job. Everybody's going to have to step up, um, try to, you know, make his absence less felt on the offensive side of the ball. But again, we got guys that are capable of doing that, um, i.e. Tommy, Gabe, uh, Kumro, and no matter what, what type of personnel we got out there, guys that are going to go out there and execute. So that's just a fantasy game. Yeah, I mean, I think it came down to minor details, um, you know, maybe that we weren't too keen on. And so we got we to gotta fix some things, uh, get back to kind of our roots. Um, you know, I think we were a pretty good team in the red zone last year. So finding ways to, to do what we were doing last year. And I know it's a new season and nothing really carries over, but just get, putting guys in the right position to, to succeed down there, making good decisions with the football, um, and then just as a, as a whole unit executing better. No, no. We're, we're completely focused on, on the Dolphins and the task at hand right now. Um, you know, we, we had to forget about that one. And we, we, we learned from it. We watched a lot of film on it. Um, and we're trying to, trying to go out there and, you know, fix some of our mistakes and um, just trying to be the best ourselves, the best team that we can be, you know, come game time on Sunday. Um, maybe slightly, but again, we gotta go. We gotta go execute whatever the plays uh, is, is called. We gotta go out there and try to find a way to put put the ball in the end zone. And it starts with me. So, um, just being smarter with the football, you know, maybe getting us into or out of a, a better better situation, um, and just trying to just trying to, like I said, put our guys in the best possible situation to succeed down there. No, I mean, I, I think this is a team that, um, this is a position that feels eerily similar to the bye week class last year. You know, losing the way we did, um, you know, everybody wanted to count us out again and all that, but we don't really care about that. We're, we're a resilient group. We're going to find ways to, you know, like I said, to score in the, in the red zone and to be better as a team and um, play complimentary football. And, and we got a, a great team. Um, you know, there, there are a few plays away from, you know, being four and three. And uh, it's a team that, again, they're working hard. They're in our division. They've already seen us once. It's hard to beat a team twice. So we got to be, uh, be ready for whatever they, they can throw at us and uh, try to go execute a game plan. And Josh, from the outside looking in, it seems like you would have a track record now, both as a quarterback and as a team in general, of dealing with losses and first situations. I mean, that's part of life in the NFL, right? But I mean, you've been able to build off whatever that adversity has been and have success. Do you kind of feel comfortable in that? pattern, so to speak, when you, when you deal with a situation like a Tennessee team? Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely feel comfortable um, just given the situation of, you know, what Coach McDermott preaches to us, how guys handle things, um, how professional guys on this team are uh, handling their business, handling their bye week, coming back, being ready to go. And, you know, we had a really good Wednesday practice, so uh, we had to continue that the next few days and be ready for a, a tough game on Sunday. Was it a different bye week because this time, like, like last year, you weren't able to go anywhere? Yeah, uh, you know, you got to get get the mind off the football, you know, for a few days. But um, you know, it's a job that never stops. So, yeah. Josh, you mentioned this going into this bye week felt a lot similar to last year. What was it about after the bye week last year, the 
reset that allowed you guys to go on that, that massive run that you guys did? And how can you use that then moving forward this year? Well, just the, uh, the knowledge of being in the type of situation, understanding that, again, the NFL, it's a week-to-week -week league. And every game on Sunday or Monday or Thursday, it's a different type of situation, different type of matchup, and you got to be ready in all in all types of situations. So, um, you know, we're not going to let again one or two losses affect how we play, how we how we practice, how we interact with each other in the locker room. Um, we're going to continue to try to play our brand of football and, and sustain our type of caliber and our standard, which is playoff caliber. Um, obviously, that's what Coach McDermott always preaches and. You know, we took that to heart last year, and we're going to take it to heart this year. How would you rate Brian Dable in terms of his creativity? One. Out of one, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what makes his creativity so unique? Uh, I think he just continues to find ways um, to explore different types of plays. And, you know, he's constantly watching film from college, um, other NFL games, and even sometimes high school games. Uh, he just He's got a knack for it of just finding good play calls and switching things up where teams maybe lose focus on, on one guy and then bring him in and, um, or focus too much on the other guy. So, you know, he, uh, like I said, he continues just to, to watch a lot of film and he's very open-minded for different plays from everybody on the team. Doesn't matter what position you play, he's willing to take a look at it. Uh, I think just the guys that have been brought into this building, um, you know, again, I, I preach it over and over, guys that are just true professionals. We care about our job, and most importantly, we care about each other, and we don't want to let each other down. So uh, it's just the type of guys that we have in this locker room that are just willing to, again, like I said, handle their bye week professionally, come back here and be ready to work and try to go execute a game plan on Sunday. The Fireball uh, hoodies uh, went, went pretty viral. I saw a bunch of them down in Nashville. Is there anybody back in California or at, at school that you heard from uh, since that happened and you shared some thoughts with you about it? Yeah, well, my aunt, she's still a teacher there. She reached out and said, uh, I can't believe that. It was so awesome. And I know the, the kids there um, enjoyed it. I got to talk to the football team um, not too long ago, I think during the bye week too. So, um, But again, I even if I didn't receive any calls, I know that they'd be thankful and um, you know, I want to do anything I can, I can to help you know my hometown. You watch the main cast at all? I didn't watch it this last week. I I, uh, have, I have. It's awesome. Yeah, I'm Very a big fan. This week. Was, would you? They uh, offer you to be a guest. Is that something you'd be? <laughs> Brady was on. Brady was on. And they've had current players on. Yeah, I think some. Uh, most of the current players though are kind of longtime vets uh, that have been in this, this league for a while. One, I don't know if I have the insight that they're looking for. Um, <laughs> I don't know that they're always looking for insight. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say I wouldn't give them any sound bites or clips that maybe they, I don't know. So, um, but, you know, I have a good relationship with uh, Peyton and Eli going back to the Manning Passing Academy. And, um, you know, Archie texts me once in a while, which is really cool. It's super surreal that, you know, he texts me and, and wishes me good luck and stuff. And, um, you know, they're the, the ultimate football family. So, yeah, if they ask me, I'd definitely go on. Uh, that was uh, pretty special, you know, to have my family on Zoom and to unveil. Um, you know, the wing dedicated to my grandmother. Um, it was, uh, you know, I, I still can't really find the words for it. It was, um, it was great. Josh, given, given your, the, the success you personally had as a quarterback against the Dolphins, or maybe it's just the offense, but like it's, is there something about the Dolphins that seems to match up well in your mind? I don't think it really points down to one thing or, you know, sometimes you just find ways to move the ball against the team. And um, I really think that's it. I don't think there's a, a secret formula or a special drink that we're drinking before the game. You know, it's just we're going out there and executing. We understand that it's a division game. And uh, Coach McDermott preaches, you know, you got to win your your division, your division games. And um, we just, I don't know if we approach it a little differently or not, but, um, Again, th this week's different, though. You know, every week's different. And it doesn't matter how many times we've played them before, how many times we've won. You know, going to this game, we're the mindset of 0-0. Zero and, zero, and uh, you know, playing against a good team, like I said, they're, they're only a few plays away from being 4-3 and three and being, um, you know, in contention for the division as well. So we got to continue to work and put together a good game plan. Josh, you talked about That's getting, getting away from uh, football for a couple of days during the bye. How hard is that to do? Do you have to almost, you know, force yourself to do it for the sake of, taking advantage of the one by you get. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I think everybody kind of approaches it differently. Um, you know, I can I can play every week out of the year, and I think I'd be fine. I love this game, so uh, it's not too hard for me to just kind of. Hey, Doc, tell him how you ain't let me win his best costume at the Halloween. <laughs> he got third. He got third. You got third? You got first? No, he got third. Mike and Amanda Hyde were first. Um, but yeah, it, that was a good time. But yeah, we <laughs> Um, yeah, I, again, I, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. What did Micah go at? Uh, Beetlejuice. What did you go at? I can't tell you.